All right, guys. So change the chain to a real chain from the invisible chain so we can go for a ride for speed test now and actually not only speed test and range test so today we're gonna figure out what the top range you can get on motor gold with 25 amp battery which is 60 volt and also we'll see if i can uh, get the top speed on longer distance so last time i got like 45 46 miles but that was a little bit uh maybe uh down the hill but then it was straight so we'll see it's gonna be a lot of riding and uh even i got the pedals i will try not to pedal it much because let's see if i oh yeah okay so Actually, the display, let me, display, I set it up to zero. So it's completely zero right now, odometer reading and trip reading, everything zero. Make sure my smart light is on because I didn't use them for a while. They turn off completely now. So I need to restart it. And now it's gonna be a little bit different speed. It's a only three pedal assist level. And it's a t I miss this bike. I didn't ride it for a while. And let's go. I'm gonna go some street riding maybe. I like this bike because it comes with uh, turn signals and uh, it can keep up with the traffic. At the same time, I just got pedals, which I'm gonna I'm gonna use it probably when I'm going back home. So I will get some exercise. But for now, I will probably hit uh, the street over here. And I have kind of bad news that my microphone kind of uh, dead. And I find out only a little bit later in this video, which you're gonna hear and how i solved the problem but now i'm as you could see i took off on the intersection actually it's um, taking off really quick that's a, a little bit difference uh on the gold bike it's accelerate pretty quick and keep up about 38 37 miles an hour right now on the street uh i didn't want to go anywhere faster because this street actually limit up to 35 miles so i was going pretty much with the traffic but you can see there's no car behind me even on the intersection they're gonna catch up with me but actually right now there's harley davidson guy yeah big thumbs up i guess he likes the gold bike and actually he's not only the one in this video who actually uh looked and asked me many questions about the bike but i can tell you that this bike is really amazing uh not only as performance but also you can get a lot of attention and mostly riding the street right now until i hit the uh, bike lane and i'm trying not to go that fast over here because a lot of uh, like uh, pinholes um, on the floor and um, that's really dangerous on the bicycle mostly uh, this type of bicycle to hit any big hole because you will just probably fly it is dangerous when you're going 35 miles an hour so i'm trying to keep up about 35 even less some people speed up over here even the speed limit about 35 some people some cars going over 40 but i'm actually already close to the intersection where i'm gonna hit the bi bike lane and i'm gonna get to the bike lane and then we'll just keep going to bike lane that should be a little bit different so i'm having kind of hard time with my wireless road uh, microphone sometimes receiver completely dead sometimes only uh the transmitter dead not sure if i accidentally press the button and it was on all night or day but it happens to me already not the first time so i need to check to see maybe it's just defected battery i'm not sure what's going on but i'm gonna go already very close to the 
uh, place uh, where we have this bike lane. Uh, it's uh, going along the orange line across San Fernando Valley, which uh, part of the Los Angeles. And you will see a lot of homeless people most likely around, but we do have them and probably many city right now do. On the right side, actually, it uh, used to be Boeing factory, but now it's empty space. I know a lot of people wants to see the range on the bike, but again, I usually don't do range tests for a few reasons. One of the reasons, it will never be the same. It's very inaccurate usually. So I would give about 20% more or less accuracy. So let's say if I get 20 miles today on this battery, so somebody can get 25 most likely and somebody will get like 19 or 18. Uh, there's many different factors might be. There might be factors of the person uh, weight, also the, a lot of homeless over here as you can see. Also it might be about the wind situation, the uh, what terrain you're riding on, how much air pressure you put in the tires, if the weather warm or cold, and how many stop you do so that's all will affect on driving my experiment and experience riding on this road usually would be kind of uh maximum because i do a lot of stop and i notice the stop and go usually will take a lot of battery charge so if you riding with a lot of stop on the intersection that will definitely will um, decrease the range, but depend on the what uh, pedal assist level you start. And on the motor goat or any other goat bike, you can adjust the strengths by adjusting the strength to one or zero. It will kind of uh, reduce the starting point where you kind of spend too much power on the just start to ride in. Also, if you start to ride on the pedal assist level one and use the pedals, that will dramatically increase the range. And that's why today test will be basically the maximum what you can probably, uh, actually the minimum what you probably can get out of this battery. And the maximum probably will be about twice or three times more if you pedal the bike and on pedal assist level one or two. If you depend on the settings you set, because actually this bike comes with uh, different settings. And I'm going about over here 40 miles, 41 miles an hour on the stretch, but because there is no sounds and I don't think you can even see, uh, it's kind of hard for you to figure out what speed I'm going, but I remember it was 40, 41 miles on this flat. I didn't hit anywhere faster than 41 mile, uh, probably because I reduced the front wheel tire pressure to 15 PSI, so it will not longer touch the fork, so there is no rubbing anymore. Uh, the brakes are adjusted and I already figured out how to adjust them very easily. I posted uh, before I published the video about it. It's very simple. But again, if you don't know how to adjust the brakes, hydraulic brakes are tricky. Recommend to take them to the shop if you never did it or if you don't want to bother because it took me a lot of time before I spent a lot of time on different bicycle to figure out how to adjust the hydraulic brakes. And I can tell you it's not an easy task, but it's all doable if you take your time. And I find the way, which is the easiest way, uh, using the adjustable range and just uh, bend the disc to the perfect condition that it will not touch the pads. Doesn't matter it's gold bike or any other brand, it would be about the same for all the hydraulic brakes procedure for me now. I takes about 60 seconds to adjust basic brakes for me now because I already know the trick. And back to the road and again um, I'm running uh, about 30 to 41 and a half miles per hour here and many people are worried about the cops riding this bike and here you go. Uh, there's a motorcycle cop right over there. He actually was looking at me when he was passing by and um, 
I don't feel any problems actually to be on the goat bike at all. And since I have a pedals, I will just pedal uh, like right now. You see, I'm pedaling. So he just passed by. And actually, the motorcycle cops usually they're the one who enforce the bicycles in my area. So they usually write the tickets for traffic and so on. Again, um, it might be different in your state or your city, but thanks God I never got any questions um, about my bicycles. And even I'm dressed like a riding motorcycle, and many people actually will ask me while I'm riding over here if it's electric motorcycle. And actually, uh, I got a lot of compliments. Uh, I think this is one of the best attractive uh, electric bicycle I have. And uh, it's not only fast, but it's looking good and it has all the features you want to have. And many people have concern about the power, uh, fast speed. And I think it's actually only positive when you have so much uh, power in your bicycle because you don't have to go that fast when you're riding the bicycle, but it's very good to have the, all the speed available to you that you can always speed up and keep up with the traffic if you need to or if you need just to ride quicker from uh, some situations or any case you don't have to ride that fast on this bike but to have extra power under your seat it's always great and i feel like uh, this one of the best uh, not only motor goat i think i may even switch uh, by the power goat as well because for two people power goat will be actually perfect bicycle to ride because there is two people can see it also it will have a dual rear suspension which will be really uh better i think um, a, a smoother ride on a good bike it's very smooth but as some people also mention if they weight a little bit lighter they feel like the suspension firmer i have a few bicycle with a dual rear suspension and i find all of them have better um smoother right they are a little bit more softer and more like uh, you get better actually uh feeling when you're riding on them sitting if you're not uh planning like to ride two people it's all depend on your weight but i weight over 200 pounds and if you two people will sit on the bike it will be over 300 pounds for sure and if it's 300 pounds you better have a dual suspension it will give you more smooth ride and i rode this bike motor goat with my wife in prior videos and you can see it still performed very well i have no problem with um, regards in the shock like rear shock or the fork because it works great but the space it's not enough for two people sitting on the motor goat and not on billy goat at all so if you want bicycle for two people i would recommend to choose power goat for sure uh, I don't have the picture yet, but by the time this video come out, there might be picture available for the new power goat, and hopefully they will still have some in stock for April delivery date. Welcome to join my Facebook group and about the uh, goat. So I post uh, all the update over there. And also if you follow me on uh, YouTube over here, I put all the updates in community section and welcome to coming under this video with any questions you might have uh thank you guys for following and subscribing to my channel that's really mean a lot to me and um, i will do some raffles like free hamlet a raffle some phone holders still available for this bike and um, free phone holders for people who use my code discount code that will be available until end of the March. I think uh, my receiver actually ran out of power for some reason. Maybe it was uh, pressing button on. I have some full pump over there. Um, so I have to. Good that I took some wire, like the cable, to charge. So I'm uh, charging the uh, phone receiver. I'm not sure if it will record it, but not. So I'm gonna try to uh, charge it a little bit because otherwise my voice gonna be sucks on this uh, recording. And I did about 40 miles an hour, top, 41 miles an hour, top speed on this bike so far. And 
Four bucks to the Oh. The ducks always hate the bicycles. Looks like it's charging, so um, I think the voice, uh, the sound is gonna be sucks on some of the recording over here, so I made the voiceover on music. Um, I was uh, getting about 39 miles an hour on the flat now, and but I still have 100%. That's kind of uh, not accurate, most likely, because I already rode six miles on the bike, which is. Um, I should change a little bit. I'm gonna check when it's gonna be 10 miles. I'll check on the battery itself to see if the green light on or if it's still blue. Because I believe the button will change to green once it's at least 70%, I believe. And I try to go at top speed, at least top speed. I cannot go all the time, but I do get a lot of uh, over here, intersection, and at least 30 miles an hour, going everywhere, almost uh, 40, and uh, again, all this range test never accurate 100%, so it's about 80%, I would say, accuracy will be, so if I get 20 miles, so, for example, you might add another 20% more or less, depend on your weight. If you're lighter, if you're riding with the wind, if you're riding non-stop without uh, braking stop and go like I do, mostly over here stop and go, you might get better even results. But last time I got 24 miles out of uh, battery, which is only uh, 52 by 20 amps. So this one is larger. So I, I expect at least 30 miles, most likely, on this trip. So it should be a lot of riding. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, and it is windy. And let's see. And uh, most people say um, it's a legal bike, and like uh, not most people. I guess some people. Uh, also, like um, nobody uh, make you to ride faster. To have the bicycle able to go fast, that's very important when you're riding on the street or some other conditions. But um, it's not like I'm running all the time on to the top speed. Sometimes you want to have more speed because you're on the street when there's a cars. So you want to be able to accelerate when you need it. That's why it's uh, better to have more than less. If you want fast bicycle, like some people only need fast because they want to travel from home to work faster. That's another reason. If you're going on the street where you can do that, that's why not. It should go faster. Even on this bike lane, I don't want to go super fast because a lot of people on this lane train. So I will try to go top speed, but again, a uh, reasonable top speed. This is a bike pass, but yeah, the signal is not as loud. I think it's coming from the display uh, as usual. Oh, something happened. Uh, so far it says zero, I'm not sure why, I mean 100% battery charge, so, and I'm already riding 8 miles on the battery. I'm about 9.2 miles, still 100%, to be honest, I'm not sure if it's accurate or not, but I checked the button on the battery, it's still blue. 
<laughs> so the only accurate information would be voltage, which will be on the new updated bicycles, which arrived in April, and thereafter they will have voltage, watt power, so you will know exactly how much watt peak you're gonna get. Because right now they say 2600, but I assume it's much more. It's probably about over 3000. Um, and I cannot really faster go faster here. I go about 30 miles and then the wind actually blowing so strong. So honestly, I don't want to slide on the street over here, but it is beautiful weather. My GoPro about to die as well, so I have uh, another battery, so I'm going to change the batteries and it's going to be probably at uh, 10 miles mark and we'll see. But so far, as a ride, actually, the riding experience is great on this bike. About all these updates I posted on Facebook, on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, so far, oh, now it's 98%. So just dropped after almost 10 miles riding on it. Um, so far it's great, uh, the updates, I'm happy to see the upgrades um, and see how you guys are riding those bicycles. So post the pictures, video if you want to. I try to clean, uh, to keep this gold bike group very clean without any spam. Uh, don't mind to discuss other brand, as long as they're like not uh, uh, somebody who comes and just uh, market the other brand, like, you know. Because I work with many brands, I can do that all day long if I want to, but I try to keep this group clean. But uh, if somebody comes and start to promote one brand versus the gold bikes and say that gold bikes are not good, I don't mind if you say it's not good, but if you promote some uh, shitty bike which cannot even go as fast and you keep telling 100 times after people tell you and show the proof, so it's definitely you are getting paid from that brand and just came to promote and I will block you, ban you from that group as well. Oh, oh it dry up over here, it's good. So it was all muddy over here last time, I believe. So I'm uh, going... Oh, it's 10.3. So uh, I got to the point where I need to change the battery most likely but let me check i'm gonna check to see it's still blue i'm not sure if you're able to see and it's 10 miles 0.3 and i changed odometer to zero and i'm on pedal assist level three which is top because i have three levels right now and it's 99 percent when i stop and so i just changed uh, gopro battery uh also not really excited changing the battery because with a media mode you have to remove the gopro mode and it takes more time also when it's just straight gopro but uh, i need to figure out if it actually works to have it because not only the battery drain faster but also um it takes some time to do all this while you are on the road recording and so on so uh, i recorded most of the video last year on gopro sounds so i didn't have anybody who really complained about the sounds but because i'm wearing the full tablet right now that's the only reason i think better to have a microphone because gopro cannot catch the voice well sounds and oh nice it's um it's a nice acceleration on this bike oh, there is a pops i need to pedal no i'm just kidding uh so i, I already about 93 percent on the battery and about 10 point actually 11 miles from it. i'm gonna do like maybe two or three rounds over here we'll see so far I rode 10 miles, 11 miles, and only 91% right now says 90%. So it's not, it's start to drop now. So as soon as it dropped, probably close to the 60, I might start to go back. 
Well, now it's 89, 35 miles an hour. Which actually fast for this trail. And about the rear suspension, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, it's not the softest, it's a uh, kind of firm. So, uh, it's not about only suspension, it depends how the suspension, I'm on bike lane, bike lane doesn't get stops in here. So, uh, rear suspension is a little bit firm, uh, but I noticed some bicycles come with the same kind of suspension but they're more like a uh, bounty and i think it's not because of the suspension itself the way it's actually frame and the swing arm attach like so all depend what angle and where you see it how you see it on the bike so that's why most likely if you weight under 200 pounds maybe it's good to replace with a less pounds like maybe 400 or 350 so it will be more softer but for me I'm over 200 it's fine and also it depends how much air pressure you're gonna put in a tire or rear one I put up to the almost to the maximum uh, I don't remember exactly like up to 28 maybe I don't remember but So far I'm at 89%, 89. And it's still going 25 easy, 36. thirty-seven. And I just realized um, I don't want to go faster on this extra small trails. A lot of people today, but I don't think everybody is gonna ride that fast all the time. So, on average, people are gonna ride street legally. It's about we have street signs about 30 to 35, which is uh, keep up with the traffic. But uh, when you need it, you can reach 40. So I'll explain what the difference between uh, some bicycles which are can get to the 38 miles now, but it takes a lot of uh, time to ride. Uh, the difference is when you need it, you cannot accelerate fast enough. And even if you're riding like 21 or 28 miles now, if you're planning to ride in a car lane, that's kind of slow because the car's traveling about 30, 35 at least. So you want to be able to travel at the same speed without any delays and accelerate as fast. I'm gonna just... Uh, that one looks like an electric one, mid drive. Uh, got a little bit of stop over here. Check out the area, it's already not that floody. Very beautiful weather today. A little bit windy actually. And just want to show you, I got about 15 miles and I have 85%. I'm not sure how the GoPro actually recorded because right now actually I also charging my uh, road receiver because for some reason it was discharged. So I guess I'm reducing some juice but it's very convenient to use USB charging port over here this way you can charge your phone if you need it or whatever you need to charge and I'm gonna go further to write more all right guys so I am at uh, I'm still charging my uh, road mic for some reason it's still charging uh, but I have green light on the battery so it's dropped below 80 so that's when it's turned green I believe right now I have 60% or 70 
when I start to ride, it will change, and I have 20 miles on it, so I rode 30% so far, 20 miles, the average speed is 20.3 miles an hour, and uh, I go on the maximum pedal assist level with uh, strength number one, but I can, I will be honest, I, will, I do not uh, go over like uh, 30 miles because it's windy, and right now my speed is kind of very, as you can see, between 20 to 30 miles sometimes because sometimes it's a gust wind over here and also kind of dangerous, you can just slide. So I try to keep it like at safe speed, I guess. But so far 20 miles um, with a lot of stop and go before and over here less stop, mostly go. But again, I stopped because of people. Uh, some people actually walking over here and riding the bicycle. And I don't want to uh, run them over, so I have to slow down, of course. And uh, it's, uh, as I said before, it's not the most accurate, but it's a fun ride on the bike. Now, when I start to ride, it's dropped to 62%. So, because, um, and I checked the motor, actually the motor, it's a little bit uh, warm, but let me stop and check out if the, I, hopefully no flat tire, nope, it's a little bit dusty and actually dirty, become, wow, actually it is very dirty, yeah, because I went uh, a little bit off-road over there to take some pictures, but uh, so far looks like everything good. I don't, like, I didn't pedal actually yet, hopefully I'll make home without pedaling, but we'll see, let's see. And the red cable is actually charging my, the red cable is charging my um, microphone a receiver. So, 68, when I stop throttling it's dropped to 68, actually raised to 68. So I would say I'm about 65%, most likely close enough with 20.5. But I'm gonna go to Balboa Lake, take some pictures, and then head home most likely, actually 64. I may still make one more round. So because uh, I believe I'm about a little bit over eight miles right home. But it's, uh, I believe now that this bike may go over 30 miles range that's why i will probably uh, make one more circle over here and um, again i'm not going all the way to the top speed as some people would expect most likely as i saw some comments all the way throttle i cannot do that uh, people are in front of me and we don't have any street with non-stop sign or without intersection uh, and uh, you can do it on freeway most likely, but you cannot ride this bike on freeway. It's not going like 50 miles an hour, it's only going like 40, 41, maybe 42, 43. And the upgraded versions, which after February 28, most people was getting like faster, about 2-3 miles faster. So I would expect that people would get better optimization with a new controller. So it may give you more speed. I'm not sure about the battery drainage, how much will take more battery most likely. Because there's always when you're going to the top speed, also the weather and how much air pressure in the tires. I think uh, to be more comfortable riding on this bike, the rear tire can reduce to maybe 20. There would be much softer ride most likely. But I believe I keep it over 26. I don't remember exactly. But well, now it's 50% or 49 now. So it looks like after I, I hit 65, uh, it started to kind of dramatically dropping, so I'm at 21 miles, uh, 21.5. So I'm gonna get to the 
Lake Balboa, take some pictures, and most likely we'll head home, and then I will check the voltage on the battery, so I will know what percentage, but we'll see. And uh, it's not all the way it's flat over here. Uh, right over here we have small hill, which actually it's fly on this hill. Easy, you don't really need to. Yeah, it's not really a huge hill over here, but you can fly easily on this hill without any slowdown. But you cannot go fast on this area. I mean, 20, 25, 30 miles an hour, that's actually pretty quick for this um, area because most bicycles are going about 10 to 15 miles. That's why I'm saying that as long as you know that bike can perform over 25 miles an hour, that's important when you're riding on the street that you can always accelerate when you need it. For example, to run away from the dogs, <laughs> if the dogs chase you or anybody, that's a good point as well. But also, when you're riding on the street, you get better control when you can go faster. Sorry. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, I love when my brakes squeak sometimes, so since I didn't use a bike, uh, it's quick a little bit, not a lot actually, the front brake maybe a little bit, but I love it. <laughs> it works better than horse sometimes, because when you start to brake, the people just hear you very well and scare them. Over here, it's a nice stretch. Now I'm at 45%, so I'm afraid I will pedal maybe home, <laughs> 34. But it's still going 35 miles an hour at 40%, and I have 22 miles on it, 36 miles an hour, 37. I go with a display now, it's about very accurate with a GPS, there's almost uh, the same speed, so there's no need really for GPS, at the, uh, so it's, I would say, 36 easily. But uh, I'm going to see how fast we'll go on the flat when I start to drive home. And it's 43%. Uh, I'm going to go over here right and go to Balboa. Are yours electric? Yes. Electric, all electric. I'm going um, 25% now, kind of dramatically dropping after 24 miles on the display, which is, I'm not trying to go to the top speed because people are in front of me with the child. I just wanna be carefully pass by on the left side here. And uh, it's keep going 31 and 90 miles, 19 percent on the battery, 33. Actually, I got error message. Some I'm not sure what error message was it. I didn't. Uh, probably under voltage, most likely. So kind of warning. Let's see. I'll go again. Yeah, zero six. So it's a warning sign. 17 percent. The battery at 70%, huh, 70%, and I got 24.5. Uh, most likely it can go more, but as a warning sign that I'm under voltage, so it means uh, many things for the bike. Uh, it means that most likely, let's see if the, most likely will probably will die at 26 miles now. I am at 19%. It starts to dramatically drop, so probably the settings kind of warn me that actually the battery got warm already. So it's, uh, let's see, oh, it's red already. So 24.5, 19%, but I'm still gonna go until it's hit 15% probably, or more warning signs come out and then probably stop, but again, that's not the 
lowest probably i would say 25 miles can go easy now it's 22 percent so it's kind of recovering uh usually the battery when you it's not always accurate so it's probably recovering right now that's why it's 22 right now but depending on the, what speed i'm gonna travel so if i went all the way to 20 or 30 miles an hour then I got a code like uh, 06, which is uh, it's a temporary code when it's under voltage. And we have more people here, so I'm kind of so it's kind of uh, let's see. Now I'm going 23, 24 miles, and I got code. When I go 23, 24 again, code, and I'm on just rolling. So. I am pretty sure I can go about 26 miles. It's not really stopping the bike. I going 27, 28. It's just a warning sign. And now there's no warning. Oh no, no warning again. So it still keep going 21 miles an hour. Let's see what the top speed I can get on this 15% uh, battery. And then I have to pedal home about seven miles. This beast, you guys. What do you think? 33 miles, 33 on GPS. <clears throat> and so I probably, I don't want really to pedal with no power at all. Now it's 15, 16% and I'm at 25 miles. I think that's good enough. And I'm gonna use a uh, pedaling now on uh, share experience. So, as I said uh, before, I was planning to go to zero, but since there's a warning, oh, this actually was green light. I didn't see that. Um, but that's one thing when you record the video, you don't pay attention sometimes, so it's very dangerous. So, okay, now it's getting more cold. Uh, I'm gonna just pedal probably. Let's see and see how the pedaling, because I didn't really pedal it. Oh, nice. So the pedaling is good, but actually it's going too fast. So at 25 miles an hour, I'm getting like ghost pedaling. And I switch to pedal assist level two. Yeah, pedal, okay. Uh, I'm on the three levels right now, which is, uh, actually I can go even one. The one is too slow. So number two actually no air code and it's keep going. So I would imagine uh, 25 miles on one battery, which is probably uh, at least 25 miles. That's about that's about uh, one amp per mile, <laughs> and I can tell you that the charge drops dramatically after 50% because the battery is large it does not really calculate correctly so hopefully when the voltage gonna be they're gonna do the calculation better but I noticed like on another bike the other bike have a voltage percentage and the percentage will show me like 37% but voltage was uh dead so it's kind of battery uh, died even it was showing 37 percent so now it's 15 percent so the battery probably can die at any time but i'm gonna start just pedaling because i still have about at least seven miles to go but i can feel like there is still torque enough it's not really Probably can go all the way to the top speed again, if I want, like, not top speed, like 33 miles maybe. But I'm gonna just pedal home, at least get some workout. And the pedaling is not bad on this bike at all. Um, but again, the top speed. And also, I installed uh, from the power goat. I'm not sure if you're buying the bike with pedals, if it's the same crank set gonna be, or larger. I'm not sure if this um, chain, I think the chain should be longer. So my crank set and all this setting, like conversion from power goat. Um, so it's a little bit shorter bike, I guess. Maybe one inch shorter. So this one is longer, better stability. 
I love this bike and I miss to ride it. Oh, the seat, because uh, many people have questions about seat. So far, I don't feel any problem with the seat. My butt is not tired at all. Like, I mean, it's, I don't feel anything, but I think I'm gonna do recording video at the end when I get home. I will record my thoughts about today's trip. So that will be probably make better um, idea for you if what you want to buy. But if you worry about seed, uh, I would not uh, really buy this bike because most people, the seeds can be changed or upgraded or do something about but the power and the battery extra that's more important and the fork works great on this bike so it's still going as a bike i'm at 15 percent so i think if you pedal it it may last you about 60 miles maybe if you pedal it uh, or if you're going on the not the top speed on uh probably less pedal assist level i'm at 26 miles right now so i still think uh, you can get at least 60 miles on this bike at least with a good pedaling or, uh, but the pedaling would be about 20 miles an hour it will not be fast because the ghost pedaling so if you plan to pedal this bike comfortable i need to change maybe pedal assist level to number to nine as i had before i'm gonna stop right now and it's very easy to change you can uh, just change it in the app or just go to settings and go to boost gear and i'll change to five i guess level and this is the air quotes oh i got air quotes zero six yeah but it's no problem it's not problem at all once i charge the battery and again don't it's not good to let the battery actually uh as empty as i do uh it's um 14 percent is not problem but the battery will actually protect themselves okay nice now it's a little bit different pedaling really comfortable at again speed about 20 miles an hour that's a perfect speed with pedal assist to go and uh, battery will protect themselves actually if you are planning to ride until the zero it will turn off before the completely dead because if the battery go completely zero you will not be even to charge it because it will go to sleep i guess that's how they call it and then you may damage some cells and then you're in big trouble because you would, might need is a new battery or find somebody who can actually fix it or if you can fix it yourself this would be great of course but i'm at 12 percent which is 26.5 and that's not bad and the battery i can feel warm but it's not hot so it's good also it's red and it looks like my GoPro as well about to die. So I'm gonna probably turn off the camera and um, turn on again in a moment once I get home. And I'm at 26.6 miles with 11% battery. And I'll tell you all what I think about today's ride. About my experience about the bike, the seat, and uh, some updates which should come soon. Actually, the pedaling is not bad. I'm at 87%, 28 miles. Still gave me power to pedal comfortably. And I only think, notice that I am not as uh, tall, uh, my hands are not so long. So I think if I decide to pedal it, I would need to move handlebar close to me because the way I'm sitting, uh, I can sit closer to the battery, but I notice I like to sit a little bit further on the soft part of the seat for some reason it's more comfortable but if you pedal it actually it's not bad but again I'm at 6% now 28.4 
uh, still getting the code but I have about two miles to ride so I should get about 30 miles but actually this bike can go I believe 25 on electric power only with my weight 215 pounds plus equipment about under 220 all right so i just made home so about the seat as i said before i'll try it when i pedal home i have to sit on this part which is uh, kind of thinner when i ride i sit probably on this part and the reason i have to sit over here because handlebar kind of far away from me when i start to pedal it so instead of leaning forward to sit uh, straight position you can either move the handlebar close to you and I'm 5'11", so I already moved a little bit before, as you can see. But I noticed if you decide to pedal it, it's better to move, unless you're okay with that position. Uh, so it's very custom bike, great for taller person, I guess. And the seat, I would rate it somewhere around 8, most likely, on the 10 uh, uh, scales, 1 to 10. I would say 8. I don't have any pain in my butt, or like, no, my butt is not complaining, anything like that. So, 8, good rating for the seat, at least 8. Um, I know I have better seat, but again, it's an pit style, and no problem, I rode 30 miles, 31 actually. Over here, it's 31 mile, and I have code 06, so it's under voltage six percent so from 25 miles i was pedaling the bike with uh, gear number i believe four about 10 to about 10 miles i'm uh, 10 to 11 and i still have six percent so if you're planning to pedal you may get a lot of mileage depending on the pedal assist level you're gonna pick but my pedaling was it's uh, actually not bad, it's a great pedaling experience. The only thing is that um, you cannot go more than 25 miles an hour with pedaling for a longer time because you'll get ghost pedaling. So I think the perfect pedaling will be about 20 miles an hour on gear number seven, so the smallest, unless you change the crank set to larger. And uh, the total experience is great riding get some workout five miles pedaling a little bit on it it might get dirty but at the end we know you get about 25 miles on electric only on the top speed uh, i didn't go all the way to the top because i have many stops so this stop actually reduce the distance even more than top speed i think because it will require you to stop and go so when you start to go you accelerate more so it takes a lot of power out of the battery and uh, it was great so if you're interested check the link in description i have 10 percent off the new bikes will have a faster controller which is about two to three miles maybe more i'm gonna probably get controller in april the new one so i can test it out to see if the bike can go that fast as well but i also consider to get power goat for two people right so this one is good for one person but if you need for two people the power goat it's a great bicycle with two batteries you can put in so you can get at least 40 miles on one charge thank you guys for watching and don't forget hit like subscribe and follow for more see you later bye